Hey guys, James here from Replica Reviews. Now, for those of you that follow the Facebook page, um, you would have seen a couple of weeks ago, I put up a picture of this, what I called my little survival kit. Now, for, well, if you've been following the posts or if you know me personally, you know my head is comparative to a sieve. So I'd always get to the range and I would have forgotten, you know, my magazines, for example, or my pellets. That's another key kind of popular one that seems to be popping up. Um, or just little bits and pieces, you know, like scope um, ring adjusters and... Allen keys and you know cleaning pallets, just stuff like that. I'd always forget it. So what I've done is we popped over to the guys at Military First, and they were selling this. This is the little Maxpedition cuboid. Now this is the small. It's the smallest one they do. They do a medium and a large, and you know they all fit into some kind of crazy Tetris style um, system if you if you buy all of them. Um, but we we've just bought the small. And what I've done is if we open it up, I filled it with everything that I think we could possibly need up the range. Now, it's still a work in progress for those of you that are wondering or thinking, oh, you know, there's, there's stuff there that I would have put in or, you know, why haven't you put this in, etc., etc. Um, it's still a work in progress. But what we'll do is we'll just get everything out and, uh, we'll, yeah, just show you what I think is a necessary um, kind of thing to have with you, whether you're at the range, out in your permission, or just, you know, just shooting wherever. Okay, so here we have basically the, well, most of the contents here. There's a couple of things I didn't put in. Um, that we're in the bag, but for whatever reason, you know, we, we don't really get out too much. That was just the Hawk user manual. I always have that with me. Um, I don't really know why. I think the real reason is the cuboid's got mesh sides. So I put the, the manual in there more just to kind of hold the sides apart. Uh, but the only other thing, really, I, I didn't really take it out because it's in this rather reflective bag. It's just a cleaning cloth here for the lens. Obviously, I always keep it inside um, this little sealed up bag because obviously with the oil and things you don't want it getting on and then just two spare batteries for the sidewinder. Now you will notice a bit of a theme occurring here, it's very virarchy and very hawky and um, that's because at the moment I've only got the one rifle and uh, surprise surprise it's a HW100KT with a Hawk Sidewinder scope. So let's just do a quick walk through the things I think are kind of important to take out. Now on this side you'll see we've got cleaning stuff, um, we've got the oil and uh, the little VF um, cleaning pellets. Now these used to come in a really handy little um, container. Unfortunately the ones that I've picked up seem to come in this awful plastic packaging. Um, so guys, yeah, not great. So if you do have one of the old containers I would say keep hold of it if you use this type of method to clean your barrels um, and just, just refill it as and when because unfortunately otherwise you get lumbered with this one. I did notice that the 22 um, version in the shop still came in that useful little container. Now one thing that I always seem to forget that I just had to had to include in this kit were my magazines. Now sod's law all the time you'd have one in your, your arm pocket on your jacket or you put it in your trousers or or whatever and you'd always forget to put it back in that rifle slip. So what I do now is I've got a check in check out system. Magazine goes out, you use it before you close up by the end of play you've got to count all your magazines back in. Um, it's a fail safe system that I've used for a while and it seems to be working quite nicely. Now obviously one thing I will mention while we're on the subject of magazines, when you're travelling about with these out, well they sh shouldn't be travelling around with them in your gun, but when you're travelling around make sure your magazines are empty. Um, something I learned relatively recently, if you leave them full, one, well you don't really need to do you, um, but two, it's actually illegal in the UK, you guys in the US or wherever, you know, I'm sure it's different, but over here if we're caught with a magazine that's loaded, they will consider that a loaded firearm and they will give you a bollocking for it. So guys, if you've got magazines in your kits and your rifle slips, just make sure they're not loaded. Um, you know, it's just doing a sort of favour to yourself really. Um, the only thing that I never seem to forget was this. Now for those of you, there we go, for those of you that don't really know what this is, this is a single shot loading adapter for a HW100. Now unlike a lot of rifle companies out there, I'll just set that back down. Unlike a lot of rifle companies out there, Virac, being German, have over-engineered their single shot loading tray um, to the extreme. Now, I absolutely love this loading tray, and nine times out of ten we're at the range, I will use that rather than the magazines. So that's why that finds a place in my uh, my case. Now, this one, I don't really know why it's in there. I think it's just so I don't lose it, really. Um, and that is the little pointer. Now, the idea is that goes on your scope. Um, it's designed for a hawk side range. I'm sure it will work elsewhere. Um, but that just goes on the side by side wheel and it just points out a little bit better 
what range you're working at. Now, the reason it's not on the scope is because I wanted to put a nice little fluorescent um, marking on here just to make it a little bit better. My eyesight isn't the best, um, so I thought that would be helpful. Um, so yeah, until until it finds a way onto my rifle, uh, which we're still waiting for the impact, by the way, FX, um, it will be living in the kit. Now, we move on to filling. Now, obviously, being a Virarc owner, I've got the HW100 probe um, just on the, the adapter there, but I've also put two adjustable wrenches. Now, the reason for this being, not every club I go to has this type of fitment. Um, a couple of them, you've got to use like the, uh, the quick release whips where you just put the whole unit on top of the bottle. Whereas the club that we're at at the moment, being quite sensible and sort of universal and catering for everybody, just use a quick snap-in connection. Um, so for the off times that we, you know, we're at competitions or we're out with friends and they've got bottles with their own adapters or this, that, the other, um, I've included the two wrenches. That way that you know you can just do it with ease. They are fairly unnecessary, really, um, but I, I, it's been a few times I've been caught out, so that's why they live in the bag. Now, moving on, I always forget pellets. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is the one thing that I will rock up to a farm with um, get the rifle out, think right, great shoot coming up get ahead of us, and yeah, I will come. Yeah, can't fire anything, haven't got any lead to put down range. And these guys, have you ever seen these fire? They make an awful crack, and it's like firing a nerf dart from your, from your, your air rifle. It's quite funny, they just kind of waver down the range. It's quite amusing to watch. So that's why I take a spare set of pellets. Now, my pellet of choice, if you can see it just inside that Virarc case holder, are the Daystate Sovereigns. Now, before I used the Sovereigns, it was always the Rangemaster Lees, Lies, whatever you want to call them, Lies. Um, superb pellet. I kept a tin of those for, well, nostalgia really, because they were the best pellets I've ever used. From the JSB factory, um, as are these, um, the only difference between these and the exacts is the tin. Um, and that's, uh, that's from JSB themselves. So that's why we keep them there. And as you can see, I've kept it in this really handy little pellet case holder um, that our local gun shop the gun room down in Ivebridge very kindly gave to us um, and that just keeps my pellets closed because I'm sure if you've seen our Facebook page you'll see a picture every now and then of the pocket of my case just full of pellets it sounds more like a maraca than it does a rifle case um, so that's why we've got that one there I know guys use bulldog clips etc um, but I like my gadgets and that appeal to me lastly but not least is just the scope equipment here now you know allen keys are allen keys and you know I know that these ones here are all for the different um, mounts, um, for your scope rings, mounts, whatever you want to call them. That will adjust the top sides, um, the little recoil pin um, that goes down, obviously if you guys are centre fires or whatever. Not so important on the air rifles, I don't think, personally. But, you know, it's, it's useful to have it there. And then we've just got another one here just for adjusting the turrets. Um, obviously, if you do re change your clicks around or re-zero a rifle, you are going to want to... Um, reset your turrets that are at zero and then obviously as you work off clicks from there on you're not going to have to think well I've started on six and I'm now on eight and a bit and what's going on you just reset them to zero job done and then lastly but not least are these two gadgets here now I remember the first time I was shown one of these I had no idea what they were um, and what they basically do have a bit of a blue piece a moment is they adjust these things here now these are the covers that are coming on the new Hawk Sidewinder um, previously you could only get them um, on the Air Max um, scopes, which you see there, and they use this neat little screwing system. Hopefully, you can just see. Um, but there's two teeth, sort of indents, just in front of my finger there, and then just under my thumb here. Um, and basically, these just connect into those and screw them on and off for you. Now, the reason I had to take mine off was we were out the other night ratting, and uh, I discovered that my Nightside Wolf will not fit over these covers. Um, so it had to come off, but Hawk, the use of these covers is, you know, it's great news for everybody really. Before the old Sidewinders, it was just a basic screw-on cover, um, that it was what it was really. It was fairly basic, um, and they, they kept these for the Air Max. Um, but then now, if you get a new Hawk product, it will come in a white box rather than a black case, and it will come with these new scope covers if you go for the Sidewinder series. I don't know if it's coming on any of the others. Um, I'm a creature of habit, so I've only got sidewinders, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, great choice from Hawk there. So what we'll do is we'll put it all back in. Um, this is always the fun bit. It never goes back in how you want it to. And uh, we'll just quickly conclude the video off. 
Okay, so there it is. This is the kit. Now, I know a lot of you are probably sat there thinking, that's what rifle slips were invented for, and you know, that, you know, that's why we put side pockets on. But for sad people like me that just enjoy, um, you know, putting kits together and and just trying to keep everything in one place, then it's really a good idea to do. Now, obviously, a lot of people will have most of this already. Um, I think the case cost me about 13, 14 pounds, like absolute tops. And it's just a really handy thing to have. It can go in your rucksack, it can go in your rifle case, you know, it can get kept wherever. And all of your stuff is in one place. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, going out somewhere, um, somewhere new with different equipment or whatever, you've got it all there with you. Um, and also on the range, a lot of ranges, I know ours anyway, um, you can't take your rifle slips in. Now obviously if all your stuff is loose in your rifle slip, you've got to have it all strewn across the the um, the bench and it just looks messy and you've got the potential of losing like especially the small allen keys they they go walkies very very quickly You'd be amazed how quick they seem to disappear so having it all in this little case just means that you can take it straight into the bench put it next to you and then god forbid you need to clean your gun or adjust the scopes or whatever it's there right next to you and that's that was my main reason for for putting this kit together now obviously put stuff in that you need um, I've tailored this very much to the Virarch, um Superb rifle and it's at the moment it's the only one I've got as I said earlier in the video We are still waiting for news on this impact in the UK um, Loving the pictures and stuff that I'm seeing from the guys in the US looks like they're having a whale of a time with it But FX and their infinite wisdom haven't given it to us yet, so I'm absolutely gutted about that But anyway, that's a different story. It will have a different kit I probably won't do another video on it because um, it will pretty be much the same just with different magazines and different fill probes um, And maybe different pellets, you know depending on what ones they want so tailor it to what you need. That, that That's the point that we're trying to make here. Um, just make sure that there's stuff that you need. I mean, you might not want, um, you know, power oil or any of, any of that rubbish. Um, or even cleaning patches. You might for, put use a, a pull through or whatever. So just, you know, tailor it to There's so many different combinations. Um, but yeah, I could go into a whole different story about that. Now, one thing I do want to do, as you can see, there's a little pocket here that I've just got a loose cloth. Now, I don't clean the scope with that. Um, mainly because it's in there loose and I don't want to ruin the lens. Um, the lenses on the Hawks are amazing. But what I do want to do is get loads of printouts um, from BRC or um, Chairgun or, or whatever and put those in there so you've got all your holdovers there for you to see as well. Great for range work, not so practical for when you're out and about, but if you drill it in in the range then when you're in the field it'll help you out greatly. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing something a little bit different and maybe it's given you an idea to get out and, and put your own kit together as such. Um, so yeah, I will put some pictures of this up on our Facebook page. We'll get everything out and we'll line it up and we'll make it look pretty. Um, we're almost at 500 likes. I think at the time of making this video, I think we're like three likes off. If you want to check out more of that and, and see what goes on on our channel, feel free to check out our Facebook page. Um, if you see it's replica reviews, we should pop up pretty soon. But anyway, cheers for watching guys and we shall see you next time.